Today I'm going to share with you my three favorite tips for the experienced golfer. You know who you are. These tips right here are simple, they're easy to do, and they're going to help improve your contact, which is going to help you have more fun at the golf course. I'm PJ teaching professional Todd Cobb, and it is my passion to help all golfers play better golf, but today we're dialing in the tips for the experienced golfer, the older golfer, right? You know who you are, you're here a lot, and we love hearing from you. Matter of fact, in the comments, tell me how old you are because that helps Nick and I develop the content to help you play better golf. So let's dive right into it. So I'm gonna give you three tips, one in the setup, one on the backswing, and one on the finish. Things that you can do tomorrow that are gonna help you start playing better golf. So here we go. The first tip I wanna give my experienced golfers is what we call some pressure shift, where we start with more weight on the lead foot. So it might be 60% weight on the lead foot, and we're gonna pressure shift that to the trail foot. Now why is this important? This is important for the experienced golfer because the movement of mass, the movement of weight, helps you create club head speed, right? So think about it for a second. When you were a kid and you were playing baseball or softball or basketball, any sport we played as a kid, running around the playground on the dirt roads or wherever it was you grew up, when you go to throw a ball, you go from your lead to your trail and you throw the ball or swing the bat or the tennis racket, whatever it is. The same holds true in the golf swing. So here we go, let me demonstrate. So from the face on view, what you'll see here is that I'm gonna start with a little bit of weight on my lead foot. I'm gonna move it to my trail foot and then we're gonna hit a shot. So start a little lead, trail, and then through. Now most golfers, not most, a lot of golfers, a lot of you may be watching this, might actually be starting with more weight on your trail foot, so there's nothing to push. It'd be like throwing a ball and starting like this and then winding up. You're gonna start lead, go trail, and then throw it forward. Now, I'm gonna do this <laughs> because I know somebody out there is watching this and they're gonna say, well, isn't that a sway? And Nick is laughing right now because he knows we get that a lot. That, Todd, that's a sway. That is not a sway as long as you keep the pressure on the inside of the foot. Let me show you what I mean by that, and then I'm gonna talk about the backswing tip here. So the setup tip is start with more weight on the lead foot and move it to the trail, but when I turn, if the weight stays on the inside of the foot, that's not a sway. This is a sway, of course, look at my, when I move to the outside, that is a sway. We're not promoting that. We're promoting start left or lead, move to trail, keep it on the inside. All right, enough about that. The second tip I want to share with you is actually in the trail leg. Now, if you've subscribed to our channel, which hopefully you have, if you followed our stuff, all right, in the vertical line swing system, okay, we've got a book coming out, just launched a book complete video series, all types of stuff. We've got great stuff, training aids, clubs coming, specifically for the experienced golfer. You know that I'm a big advocate of letting the trail leg release. So from down the line, when you're set in here, I've got some flex in the knee. When I rotate to the top, I'm going to release that a little bit so that I can turn the hips. This is key as we get older because we don't have the same flexibility that we once had. All right, and when I release the trail leg, I can turn the hip. So if I start with, let's say, 30 degrees of knee bend, for sake of discussion, and I go to 15 degrees of knee bend, that's the perfect position. Let me hit a shot for you, here we go. And I'm gonna tell you why that's important. So 30 degrees, I'm gonna go to 15, I'm gonna move the pressure. Oh yeah, definitely more solid. All right, now why is that important? Well, that tip is for you if you get quick from the top, your swing's gotten short, you feel rushed on the downswing, that's because you're not properly loading. That little tip right there of releasing the trail leg will help you do that. Now, let's talk about something in the finish. What could I do in the finish that can help me play better golf as an experienced golfer? It's my favorite tip. It's the easiest tip of all. It's simply making sure your knees touch when you finish your golf swing. And this is vital for those of you who struggle with contact. If you struggle with contact, pay attention. This is for you. So when you finish your swing, 
I just want you to make sure that your knees are touching. So here we go. All right, notice that? See my knees? They're touching. Now why is that important? Well, here's what we've learned in three tips already. This is how simple golf can be, all right, when we don't overcomplicate it. I start a little lead, I move to my trail, I move that pressure shift, okay, I turn the hip, now I've gotta move that pressure towards the target, and as I go towards the target and get my knees touched, the bottom of the swing goes forward. So if you're chunking the golf ball, or you're topping the golf ball, it could literally be because you're keeping your weight back on your back foot. All right, so here we go. Let's tie this together. I love hearing from you. Be sure to leave a comment, ring the bell, all right? I love it when you ring the bell. Get the notifications and subscribe. So I got a little weight on the lead foot. I'm gonna go trail to release the trail leg and I'm gonna get my knees touched. Here we go. Boom. That right there are my three favorite tips for the experienced golfer. They're gonna help you hit more solid shots and actually enjoy golf a little bit more.